Hi everybody. Welcome to my 28 and 29 week pregnancy update. I am uh, 29 weeks pregnant as of today. <clears throat> and um, I didn't do a video last week. I apologize. Um, I didn't have a whole lot to report on. I don't this week either, but I just thought I'd cram two weeks into one. Uh, I wasn't feeling very well last week. I had a lot of headaches every day. Um, we had a lot of bad weather come through, and bad weather equals headaches for me. So, anyway, okay. Um, like I said, I don't have a whole lot to report on. I, I'm just going to start off by saying, um, I can't believe I'm 29 weeks pregnant. I'm in a time warp and it's just ridiculous. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, we really don't have anything done yet. I shouldn't say that. We have a lot. We're on our way to getting stuff done. Uh, we cleaned out the room. Well, no. We took the stuff out of the room. It still needs to be, um, the carpet needs to be shampooed and it's, it's a mess. It's a literal disgusting mess. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't, we don't have any furniture. We don't have any, anything for the baby. It's starting to freak me out. I will admit it is freaking me out. Um, so I don't, I, I've had requests for nursery tours. It's just not going to happen yet. Um, but I, I think we're going to, it's, it's going to, it's going to come together. Maybe at the last minute, but we'll see. Um, so that's that. What else is new? Um, kind of sleep deprived. Just not sleeping very well. Uh, I know when I did Eli's one year update, I mentioned that day that he was sleeping through the night, every night, everything was wonderful. And it, no, that day, things just went totally downhill. So the other night he was up from three to five and I'm already having trouble sleeping. So yeah, it's, it has been a struggle. I'm not quite sure what's happening there, but. So I'm just not even saying anything out loud anymore because it just jinxes it. Um, oh well, it is what it is. Um, what else? It's feeling a lot of movement. Um, I, I'm pretty sure she's still breech because I'm feeling all the same movements in the same places. So I don't think she's flipped yet. Um, I'm not quote, I don't remember when my next appointment is. It must be coming up in a week or two. So she'll be able to look in and see kind of her position at that time. But I don't think she's moved. <sighs> so out of breath. Oh my goodness. Sorry just picking up toys it's like torture oh my goodness I get like I, I try to pick up pick up his toys every now and then because it's just I mean he can't run in a straight line without tripping over something so I try to I try to pick up his toys and then I get you know like I see stars and I have to sit down and I'm out of breath and <sighs> it's just, it's not fun <laughs> oh boy um, so let me know what you guys think of this. Um, I know, <clears throat> I mean, I've, I've been telling you how my emotions have been really out of whack and I'm super sensitive, super paranoid, super everything, just everything's, you know, it's either irritating or I get sad and I cry. And I mean, it's just been all, I, I, there's not one day goes by I don't cry over something. So there's this one issue that has been kind of in the back of my mind. I haven't mentioned it to, you know, anybody 
in my family or whatever, but um, no one's really talked about a baby shower at all. Like no one's mentioned it or what, how I feel about it. And I'm starting, it's really kind of upsetting me. Um, I know I shouldn't expect it. I mean, but I just kind of feel like no one cares about this baby. Like, okay, we were really excited about your first, but this is your second and it's old news. And I, I don't know. And I know I'm just looking too much into it. And, um, but it kind of hurts my feelings a little bit, you know, because it is a girl. It's whole different gender. I mean, yeah, I had Eli a year ago, and that is close. I mean, they are very close in age, but they're two different people. I mean, shouldn't we celebrate both individuals? I don't know. I, I mean, I get really upset. Just, <clears throat> sorry, thinking about it, because I just don't feel like people understand that. I mean, I, I know, like, my mom's older and Mark's parents are older in age and <clears throat> I guess maybe it's a generational thing, you know, that they think that you shouldn't have, it's just tacky to have baby showers for second and third babies or whatever. But it's kind of an antiquated idea. I mean, things are changing. I don't know. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Um, this makes me a little sad. I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, don't get me wrong. My mom, I mean, she's been great. She's like bought Eden a couple of outfits and I think she has a couple she's bringing over today. And that's, those are her first clothes. I mean, those are her first buys. We, we have nothing for her. And she's gonna buy the baby's crib. And so, I mean, we're really blessed. And, but it's just, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I'm just too sensitive, I guess. Um, what else? Symptom, symptoms wise, it's pretty much the same as usual headaches, backache, you know, it's all the same stuff. Um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> can't believe I'm <coughs> sorry, allergies. I'm already a week into my third trimester. Crazy stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's really different the second time around. Oh, really different. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. But this is my last, you know, I'm not going to have any more. So I have to enjoy it every minute, every second of it. I have to enjoy it and I am oh another thing I got in contact yesterday with um, a lady who does the placenta encapsulation and we talked at length about everything and I just told her about the mess going on with my doctor and midwife and what's happening there and she understands and um, she you know, sent over some paperwork for me to fill out, and she usually charges like $220 um, for the service, but she has like a sliding scale system for people, you know, who, who are like cash pay patients for like like me, like us with this whole deal. So she's only charged us $180, which is really nice. And um, the only thing is I have to get blood work done that I... Um, I didn't have done. I refused it because well, I mean we have to pay out of pocket for all of it. So, like all of the uh, like hepatitis, HIV, all that stuff. I mean I've done had that stuff done in the past, and I just don't see need for it. But she needs to have it done, and I understand. So I have to get all that done. And um, but the only, 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 only problem I'm really nervous about this is she said that. Um, in November, around my due date, she's going to be planning a trip, you know, vacation, I guess, for Thanksgiving. Um, so she doesn't know if she's going to be in town. And if she isn't, I need to take the placenta home and freeze it until she gets back. 
that scares the bejesus out of me because like it was not even three days after Eli was born that I, the rug was pulled under me and I was just a complete mess emotionally. So I wanted to make sure I got this done right away so this wouldn't happen this time. And chances are I may have to wait a week or two to get started on the, the pills and it makes me extremely nervous. But I'm guessing everybody's going to be the same way because it is around Thanksgiving and it's a, it's a tough time, so we'll see. I, I can't worry about it. I mean, if I have to wait, I have to wait. <laughs> so, uh, so that's that loveliness. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll show you a belly shot. I know I'm going to think of 10,000 things. <laughs> Bellies are always in style. <laughs> so here we go. 29 weeks. Whew. And actually, it kind of feels like she's laying this way because there's like nothing going on up here. So. I don't, I'm not sure about it, but we'll see. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.